whenever I'm writing landscape music, which is a lot of my work, I always, I think it's really important to get a, a thorough understanding of the environment before I put anything on the page. So I always like to spend some time in the place, uh, which seems like a no brainer, but um, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, I always spend some time in the landscape and um, also doing some research on uh, kind of the history of the environment, the, you know, how the land was formed, how, who lived there, the people and the wildlife and the plant life. Um, and all of those things can play into the music. Um, sometimes when I'm writing landscape music, um, the, the sounds are familiar, like um, bird song, you know, things that are very obvious, like mimic mimicking nature but other times it's a little bit more abstract things like um, colors or other visual elements might um, impact like the harmo um, the harmony or um, uh, other harmonic language and things like geology or topography can play into like form and texture as well uh, so it's it's really uh, really important to to spend some time in those places so you can get the full kind of visual and history of things but also kind of the soundscape so you can listen deeply um, to what you're uh, what you're experiencing <laughs> 